Human smuggling in Arizona. It's something we see every day, multiple times a day. Homeland Security um, agent Marcello Delora there, says so. trying to stop it is a big task. I think it's impossible to stop. 22 people were indicted in Arizona for driving undocumented immigrants in the state. While that may seem like a large group, there is more work to be done. Probably just a small dent in the grand scheme of things. Agent Delora says smugglers use the internet to find drivers. They try and recruit teens and young adults through WhatsApp and Snapchat. The smugglers advertise driving people from the border to Phoenix as a simple way to make big bucks. They get paid anywhere from 700 to thousand dollars per individual. But it can be dangerous. If you're coming here from another country and you're getting into a car with people you don't know, I mean, there's always a there's always a risk of danger for that. Um, Immigration attorney Darius Amiri says it. driving strangers for hundreds of miles can certainly be a problem. You know, I've seen results where there's uh, high speed chases, helicopters involved, and there's you know crashes, fatalities. What a tragedy to to lose everything for. You know, quick buck. Special Agent Dolores says teens need to ignore an offer that seems too good to be true. He says ignore it because you never know who you're dealing with on the other end. You could hurt your family, you could hurt yourself, and you could put yourself in a position where it could jeopardize your future. And Dolores also says that some people may have good intentions, but other travelers could be carrying weapons or drugs. Again, you just never know. Now, if the smugglers in the indictments announced today are convicted, they could be sentenced up to 10 years in prison and a fine of up to $250,000. And Michael, for the young people who kind of take the bait here, what other kind of penalties could there be for them? Uh, well, it could be problematic. Uh, you could be deported if you are a DAC, mm. someone with DACA status. Mm. You could lose that status, certainly something that can take time to get and for a lot of people is something that's super important. And the agent was really just saying that some people are just certainly desperate to help their family or friends get into America. They may also need some extra cash, and they're willing to take that chance. But as you just heard, uh, a lot of reasons not to take that chance. Yeah, but when you see those Snapchat ads like 20 grand in a couple hours hit me up, it can be enticing oh, for absolutely. teens. So the warning is important. Thank you, Michael. Come